Good afternoon, I'm Marla Ellerman. I'm publisher of Mobile Marketing and Technology Online. We're here this afternoon at Transact 16 with Andrew Malloyd, who is director of product for Ingenico. Good afternoon to you, Marla. Thank you so much for joining me. So I guess there's some exciting things happening at an Ingenico today, and you just released a new product. We did indeed. So um, the Transact 16 conference has been an exciting one for us. Um, yesterday we launched our MPAR Z and VSDK. Um, so for the mobile solutions team of Ingenico, this is a very exciting for us. It brings to the market the first quickest path to EMV, which is an all-in-one solution for ISVs and developers to start building applications which embed EMV acceptance. So what does that mean to, are you the only hardware manufacturer here that has a product like that right now? From a hardware standpoint, we are. We are the first of the market which has a complete end-to-end, all-in-one solution. What I mean by that is it's a, it's a full stack. We have both the PCI and EMV certified hardware, which connects then to our EMV certified SDK, which is both for iOS and Android. And behind the scenes, we have our own gateway, which is again certified then to a variety of different processor platforms here in the US. So we cover that full end-to-end, -end, which means from a ISV and developer standpoint, they turn to one vendor, one solution, which then allows them to build any payment acceptance into their application. So we, we try to take the heavy lifting out of that payment acceptance with the SDK. So is that platform open for anybody to develop on, or is it just the Ingenico clients and customers? Um, anyone can partner with us. Um, it will be using our hardware, so of course it will be any of the Ingenico uh, mobility solutions devices. Um, and that works again as a closed loop system. So it's the hardware, the SDK, and then through the proprietary gateway. So as long as they're content with using our hardware and services, then it's open to any ISV or developer who wishes to partner with us. So when you say ENV, it's it's end to end. Um, for there's so many of your terminals that are already out there. Can they just? Is this an upgrade software? opportunity for them or do they need to buy a new piece of hardware and then be able to utilize this or how is it going to be work for your existing customers that are out there? So to begin with we need to just define the customers into to kind of probably two areas so that there are existing um, Telium based terminal customers who are used to having our, our range of smart terminals already this solution does not apply to the smart terminals at the moment it applies to the mobility solutions devices that we have so today, anybody who's working with us or wishes to work with us um, will be able to use the variety of five to six devices that we have within the mobility range, range from MagStrive through to Contactless through to full EMV, and those will work again over the SDK framework with our gateway. We're starting off with those mobility devices first with the SDK. That's exciting. And so how does Ingenico feel about the mobility market? Do they feel like this is going to be a big part of their growth in 2016, 2017? So one of the one of the, uh, the, the things we're seeing is that over the next five to six years, we see that the uptake in mobility-based devices is going to continue to grow. Um, MPOS itself is a disruptive force in the market. So as part of all of these active apps coming onto the market, we want to make sure that with MPOS we're there to assist with that heavy heavy lifting in terms of payment acceptance and making it as quick as easy as possible. Because the biggest issue for an ISV today is that they can't get a solution through this through the queue quick enough to get certified for a speed to market so if we can help that speed to market that's the best way we can help these people adopt their applications so with this new service offering um, do you have a full customer support behind this like if they're trying to develop it or is this just something you offer and then they have to figure it out on their own so the SDK is designed to be as simple as possible. For, so for anybody who's familiar with building an application in iOS and Android, uh, we make it as simple as three lines of code to start basically taking a transaction over one of our reader devices. Um, so we try to make it as simple as possible, but yes, of course, support is key to any solution that you put out to the market. Um, so we offer 24-7 support from our Boston office, and we have a development application team who are there on hand to answer any questions, and we have integration specialists if there's anything which requires a, a little bit more in-depth expertise. That's great. Is there anything else you'd like to add today? Uh, no, just a case of saying stop by our booth at 1004 if you have any questions about the SDK. There we go, and you've heard it here from Ingenico. Thank you so much for watching.